September 1937. The world teeters on the brink of destruction. Well, not really. But we here at HBCIB, that's How Bad Could It Be News Agency of Portland, prefer to keep a pessimistic attitude, since we're certain it makes people pay attention. Ahem. <laughs> the world is certainly not on the brink of destruction. Even in the face of such events as our continuing Great Depression, the beginnings of a new regime in Germany, and John Steinbeck's book of Mice and Men. No, even despite these minor setbacks, we're still just as happy as could be. After all, there's still fun to be had, especially overseas, as we watch the latest leg of the Grand Prix motor racing season. Yes, there's nothing quite like watching 10 or more daring young drivers putting their lives on the line as they drive around a track very, very quickly. You may notice in our footage, Swiss driver Carl Ebb at the very back of the pack. Predictions! HBCIB's resident psychic, the Grand Marquis Albert of Bundaberg, has given us a vision of the future. In the far-off year of 2000, these very events will be accessible to homeowners through an interactive entertainment game entitled Spirit of Speed 1937, courtesy of companies Broadsword Interactive, Acclaim Entertainment, Microprose, and LJN. Who would have made a name for itself with its products based on famous Hollywood films? Hmm, I wonder what a game based on Errol Flynn's Prince and the Pauper would be like. But enough predictions. Now it's time that we take you to the lovely French Pyrenees, where the next race is about to begin. So here we are with car number 23. We're just in the driver's seat with the driver. Uh, apparently our camera is small enough to fit in with the driver. I don't know how that works with the technology we have in yesteryears. I mean today, that's the technology we have today. And we're off, and things are really, really, like, choppy. I'm not sure what's happening here. It's like, maybe, like, he's the, the driver is, like, in the Matrix, and he can control time. We can see through time. Only the Matrix is a movie that hasn't been made yet. So I don't know why we'd be making references to the Matrix when it's a movie that hasn't been done at all. Oh, no siree, Bob. No, those other two movies, which were really, really bad. But anyway, here we are, traveling along really, really choppily along the road. And we can see a bridge. I think it's a bridge, or, or what have you. It was in Greece, or, or Italy. I'm not a very good commentator. I, I don't know where we are, actually. So in Europe, it's really quite exciting. We're racing around the track, really choppily. And, um, and the first crash. Yes, exciting, isn't it? Crashing into walls. If you can't have excitement from racing around the track, you can at least have excitement from crashing into walls. Hello, people. Thank you for watching. I, I, I hope, sure hope you enjoy watching this. Yellow flag. What does a yellow flag mean? I don't know. Uh, and we're still racing around this track. And, oh, crashing bits here and there. Everybody's crashing. It's, it's a crash day. It's a wonderful crash day. The frame rate has gone up. I mean, reality has stopped being choppy. I don't know what I'm talking about when I say frame rate. It's because um, we're not playing a video game at all. Why, why would I be talking about frame rate when I'm playing a video game? Because we're not playing a video game. We're playing real life. Uh, well, well, the camera just popped out of the car because uh, we, we have tiny cameras that can pop out of cars and, and hover behind the cars that we are recording. And we're car number one now? I thought we are car number 23. Nobody tells me what's going on here. And we're going the wrong way. We've crashed into a partition which blocks off to the rest of the village or wherever we are racing right now. I guess we'll have to find a way to get back on the track, but uh, well, what's this? What? What's this? We're, we're just edging along, just trying to get over the hedge. We can't get over the hedge. We have to get on the road. Get on the road and turn right. You're the right. No, left, back, right, left, round, forward. Follow those tracks. You see those tracks? Oh, yes. Very good, very good. I'm sorry. I'm not supposed I'm not supposed to help other driver here, but it's obvious that he needs some help at this point. And we're still racing along, and uh, we're at the part where we can see uh, that thing that helps mountains not, you know, collapse, because when you dig into the side of mountains and, 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 and uh, all that dirt is there, it just collapses in the rain, but the concrete is there to help it stop doing that. And we're crashing into a partition again because we're very, very lost right now. It's, it doesn't help that, that, that the roads are just going everywhere. Where, where would you go on these roads? They just point left, point right, right and, and oh, yes, directions. Ah, we're supposed to go here. Yes, excellent. Here we go. On the way down the tracks. Still very choppy, but uh, I think it's actually improving. There, improved for a bit. Now it's bad, 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 bad again. And really, really bad. Oh my god, it's so bad. Why is it so bad right now? There's nothing in front of you, except for the crowd. 
And now it's back to normal. And now it's not back to normal. Now it's back to bad. And we've complete, completed one lap. One freaking lap. It's amazing. Am I allowed to say, am I, am I allowed to say freaking on, on, on the radio? I can, can I say? Yes, I can. I can say freaking, 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 freak out. Uh, yes. Ooh, there was a car right behind you. And he just passed. Quick, catch up with him. Maybe you can outlap him. Or, or, uh, you can outlap, or he can outlap you even more or less than what he's already done. Uh, there was yellow, another yellow flag front sitting there. And we're still going. We're still racing around this track. We can see the bridge again we saw him the first time. It was, uh, that bridge in Italy or Greece or what, what have you. It's, uh, aqueduct. That's what it's called, an aqueduct. Aha! I knew those lessons in Greek stuff really paid off. Wow. Oh, oh, wow, the frame rate is really good now. I'm not sure, I mean, the choppiness is gone. Oh, it's back down again. It's because of the crowd, isn't it? The high-resolution crowd, they're ruining this all for us. The high-resolution textures and models are just bogging this system down. The system can't take it, and did we just crash? Did someone just crash into us? Who crashed into us? Was that a car? Was it number 18? I think it was number, yes, or 16, 18. I think it was 18. 18 crashed into us. That son of a gun. That was not very gentlemanly behavior. In fact, I would say that was very scoundrelly behavior. How dare you crash into us and then cause can lose us control of the car. I hope you lose the race for ungentlemanly behavior. But we're gonna go ahead anyway. We're gonna keep trying the race. We're gonna keep going around this track, which is now suddenly very, the frame rate is actually pretty good right now. I'm not sure why it's that. And we're still going and it's gone down again, but it's going up again. It's going down, up, down, up, down. And then, and then, and then, then we got, we got off sidetracked. I'm not sure where we are. There's a nice statue. It was a statue of a horse, I think. A horse, a rider and a horse, because, um, you know, that was the thing they had back then. They really, really liked their statue of uh, riders and horses. And I can just see a car and they just pass in front of me. So that means this must be the way to go. And here we go. We're going to keep driving this way along the driver. And we've popped out from the car again with our magical camera that can like, see from all corners. Because we have magical cameras back then in the 19... 40s or 30s. I don't know when this is set. I think 30s. Is this 30s? Uh, well, well uh, before World War II. And we've crashed, and and that's it. That's it. It's all over, folks. It's all over. And that's why Spirit of Speed 1937 sucks. It doesn't run very well at all. The machine recorded in the video was a 3.0 GHz Pentium D, which is, by my estimate, about 50 times the requirements on the box, which are roughly that of the original Unreal, according to the box. Also note, there was a Sega Dreamcast port of Spirit of Speed 1937, published by a rather infamous name among us old school gamers, LJN, formerly a toy company that was bought by a claim to bypass Nintendo's silly annual games for publisher limitations during the 1980s, the same limit that caused Konami to form Ultra Games. The LJN name hadn't been seen since 1994 and was only brought back in 2000 to publish the Dreamcast port of this game which really should have been a warning as to the game's quality, because really, has LGN ever made a good game? Really, tell me if they made any good games. Other things to note. The framerate issues have a lot to do with the badly implemented particle and smoke effects, making the game perform worse if you're driving in any of the third-person camera views. Also, although the game does have some sound effects, my recording program didn't pick them up for whatever reason. The game does get massive props from me for actually featuring a dashboard camera, which in the year 2000 was already a sad rarity. Like, uh, 4x4 Evolution didn't have one, most of the console need for speeds were abandoning a dashboard camera in favor of making the default a third-person view. Uh, along with Sierra's Grand Prix Legends and Kaneko's Great Thousand Miles Rally on the arcades, this is really one of the few racing simulators to portray Grand Prix seasons from before the rules were changed in 1968. Because prior to 1968, there were a lot of driver fatalities because the rules weren't accounting for driver safety. But it's, it's one of those sadly underrepresented time periods in modern gaming, along with games set in World War I, games set in the American Wild West, and games set during 1666's Great Fire of London. Back, back on topic, unfortunately, the poor quality of Spirit of Speed 1937 relegates it to the status of missed opportunity. We'll just need to scratch that historical motor racing itch elsewhere. This has been Wild Weasel for HBCIB News Agency. Good night.